Hello, this is Maureen from Morsley Creations. Um, I made a boo-boo, guys. I made these awesome, awesome coasters. And um, I forgot to press record on my phone. I had it all set up. Um, paused the video so I could mix my pigments or mi mix with the resin and forgot to turn it back on again. And the coasters came out awesome. Um, I'll show you a few of them. Look at that. Look at that lacing. That's using the Lares pigments and Mastercast resin. So today I wanted to see if I could use the same colours to recreate something like that. Who knows if I could do it? I'm guessing I can't <laughs> recreate, but uh, well, let's see how we go. So basically all I did was a puddle pour layering colours on top of it, laying colour colours on top of each other. Before I ruin this, I just want to get you down here. Have a look. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing.
so guys that's how it turned out um, when it was still wet and um, I will show you how it turned out when it was all cured and dry hope you enjoyed the video um, I have learnt a few things um, if you watched the previous video number 23 uh, I was using the Lares pigments uh, but a different resin I was using Ultracast which was extremely thin and I wasn't used to using it and it just blew around heaps and I lost all the effects um, today I'm using Mastercast 121 uh, one and it's thicker and um, you, I just find that the effects and the cells and the lacing just stay intact um, a lot easier and um, guys I just want to let you know I love 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 these pigments I think Susanna has done a great job bringing these to us um, I've never had so many cells pop up in my resin pieces ever uh, with pretty much little effort as you could see from the video they just kind of happened um, without much effort at all um, a bit of heat and th there you go that was it so um, yeah I'm loving them really enjoying the these pigments anyway I'll catch you later bye